my half dozen viewers. Have you been sleeping well? I have not. Last night I slept so badly I dreamed I was having insomnia. But now let's kill Dremoras, which in fact I've already done. This narration's not in fact on the fly. It's fake. I'm a fraud. He poses like a badass. Guess it was just posing after all. What a poser. I should have tweaked the combat style of the range attack Dremoris. Why do the ambushing enemies often wake up before I get to the trigger boxes? If you know the answer, please write it down in the comments. Now, these guys waited for me to come here, but why not the others? They are all set to be triggered by the player only. That should be the norm. Dovakin, you're too loud, even when you're not shouting. You must keep quiet. Let's lock the trap, although I don't intend to come back. Just for safety. Ah, Chorus! My bees! You must be asking, if he hates so much the Chorus, why did he put them in his own mod? Precisely because I find them really disgusting. By the way, have you noticed the setting? Looks like we're inside the gigantic bowel. I like this gory theme, even though I'm not a fan of horror games. Vampiric Molag Ball Cultists. A convenient place to trap. Hell, who's the necromancer? They're jamming the trap. That's better. A Volkhor Vampire. I didn't use Dongard in this mod. The game seems to upgrade it automatically if you have the DLC, which should be expected, in fact. This outfit is a design of mine. I mean, it's based on a vanilla armor. At least the mask is all mine. I'm such a great designer. <coughs> I'm kidding, but I actually like the mask very much. It's like a black bloc member. Only he is communist instead of anarchist, because the mask is red. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Nah, this song is great, but I'm still anarchist. Negras tormentas agitam os ares, nuvens escuras nos impedem de ver. Ainda que nos espere a dor e a morte, contra o inimigo nos chama o dever. Folly sound effects are the only way for me to get a round of applause in such a bad shape. Not a reason to avoid showing off, though. The. Maybe it should be. The Pu Cheng will open the hem looking door. See, looks like hem.
And this must be the helm room. By now you must have realized that the Deadrop is in fact a werewolf who sounds like a bear. But he looks good and tosses fireballs. He breathes fire. I think that's that's good enough. Run like the puppy you are. I mean Gecko. I gave you the chance to breathe fire and look cool, but now die. I could have avoided this room, but there are scrolls of reanimation, and that may be useful ahead. There are staffs too. Also an amulet of our case, surprisingly. There is a thing that I think is more disgusting than chores, is lamprey. You can see I designed the mouth of the hunger after the mouth of the lamprey. Voices are demanding sacrifice, but let's see what happens if we ignore them. What in Cold Harbor is a sacrifice? But it is no sacrifice No sacrifice Okay, we have to go back and offer Sir Elton John some sacrifice Damn, he escaped Fall down just fall down already, will ya? I'll sack your face so bad. I guess I'll have to find someone more willing to be sacrificed. Here they come. Well, that was easy. I guess it was not Elton John after all, but a bass voice Dalek. You need a living subject in order to make the sacrifice or it will not accept it. That's what the reanimation stuff from the previous room is for. Let's continue in the next episode so I can upload a smaller file, shall we?